Nothing much? What you? Do what are you doing? Well, I'm just making this thing for, you know, my my mom, obviously. Wow, how sweet. Yeah, but it's not really working because I can't I can't get the screw in with this hammer. Well, I have the screwdriver. Oh, oh yeah, okay. Well, help yeah. Th thanks, Mr. Christian. All right, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure. All right, here we go. I got this though. I got this. Hey guys, what are you doing? Oh, hey, Mr. Michael. Yeah, we're it's just uh, we're just making this thing for uh, for my mom. Whoa. Yeah. Can I help? Uh, yeah, of course you yeah. can help. Sweet. Um, oh, you okay? So you I have, have this saw. You have a saw. I was trying to use this hand. Yeah, let's, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, go for it, Mr. Christian. Go for it. Yes, mm. teamwork. teamwork, guys. Teamwork. That's what I'm saying. Oh, hey, what's up, guys? Hey, hey. hey. kids church, dude. Hey, it's good to see you this weekend, guys. What's going on? Hey, listen, we have an awesome kids church plan for you guys today. And this week, we're going through a uh, a series called Game On. Game On. It's good stuff. And it's all talking about teamwork. How we have to work together as a team. Listen, we couldn't we couldn't do this by ourselves, could yeah, we? Yeah. We, we have, only had one tool. We need all of them, don't we? Listen, guys. Our big idea this week is this. When you're on God's team, he uses what you already have to do his work. He uses what you have. You don't have to go out and get something else. He, he, he uses what you have, right? And so let's break it down. Here we go. This week, as we continue to talk about being a part of a team, we will hear the story of when God called Moses from Exodus 3 through 4. God called Moses to be a part of his team, but Moses was scared and wasn't sure he could do what God called him to do. God asked him a very important question. What is in your hand? When he, he, then he tells Moses how he will use what Moses already has for his glory. God asks us the same question now. He asks us what we have to give him because he will take what we have and use it to do something amazing for him. Just like our, our tools here, guys, God will take what we have in our hands and make something amazing out of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Mr. David, there's a Bible verse for this weekend that really? goes along with that. Okay, well, Let me tell, tell us it, yeah. Yeah, okay. God has given each of you a gift from his great variety of spiritual gifts. Use them well to serve one another. First Peter 4.10. Ha, 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 ha. That's pretty good. Well, should we do it all together, guys? Let's do yes, it. Let's sir. do it all together. Here we go. God, God has given each of you a gift from his great variety of spiritual gifts. Use them well to serve one another. First Peter 4 10. Ooh, that's good stuff, guys. So, so just like the tools that we have here, we are all useful in our own way. Yeah. That's awesome. Listen, guys, if you have not been to Wednesday night, you need to come because there are six different kids' growth groups that are super awesome. And with that, guys, let's let's finish making this thing for my mom. All right, let's do this. Yes. Let's do this. Let me get the